In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a TV static effect using a single image like this. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have the TV image. If you'd like to download this and follow along, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Just go ahead and drag this and let's create a new comp. Now let's go down here. Let's go ahead and make a copy. Let's do Control D. Now let's go to our effects and preset. If you don't see this, just go to window, make sure that's checked. Now let's type in bad TV. It'll give us three options, bad TV one, two, and three. I like using number three, so I'm gonna double click that. And it should apply to this one right here. And I'm just rename this. I'm just name that static. Now the only thing we want to change is the wave speed. So I'm gonna change that to 50. But first I'm gonna show you how it looks right now. So it's kinda slow. Unless you like it like this, then you can keep it at zero, but I'm gonna change it to 50. Now let's check out the difference. All right, so let's disable this for now. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna create a new solid, and I'm gonna make sure that's white, I'm gonna click okay. And this white solid is gonna be the mask for the static. So I'm gonna disable this for now. With the white solid still selected, I'm gonna go ahead and select the pen tool on the top. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna hold the space bar. I'm gonna drag it around. You could drag it around like that with the space bar. And I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more. And I like to start on the left hand side. So I'm gonna make a point here, drag it up kind of like that. Point there. And before I let it go, I'm gonna hold the space bar. Again, the space bar, you could drag it like that. Kind of turn it like that. Hold the space bar again. Same thing here. Point there, drag that up. And I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna click undo. I think I'm gonna try to get that part right there, kind of like that, space bar. Now, of course, just take your time, make sure everything is good. Point there, drag to the left, kind of like that, space bar. And let's drag it up like that. And it's going to close that out. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm just doing 100. All right. Now let's bring the uh, white solid back. You can see the mask is right there. Disable that for now. Let's bring back the static. And let's go to the select the static. Now let's go to the track mat right here. If you don't see that, just hit the toggle and switch. Now for the track mat, select the white solid. Now you can see it's a mask around the static. All right, now let's go to the static. Let's make a copy. I'm gonna do Control D, and I'm gonna go to the effect and preset. Let's type in Gaussian blur. Just double click that. Let's go down here. Let's add about 20, and let's change the blending mode to classic color dodge. So you can see the before, after. Just add a little bit of uh, brightness to it. All right, so let's play it. Now I'm gonna select the white solid. I'm gonna go to the mask. And for the feather, let's try 10. All right, let's do one. I think 10 might be too much. All right, so I'm gonna fix the mask just a little bit just to um, get that part right there. So I'm gonna select the pen tool again. Just add a point there. Drag that kind of like that. And we can move that, change that to 100. See how that looks. All right, I think that looks good. 